Let's go to Tel Aviv and speak to Akiva Eldar. He's the chief political columnist and editorial writer for the Israeli national daily Haaretz. Thank you so much for your time on this news hour. So as we heard from our correspondent, there's been much international condemnation. But do you think it's going to make a difference to Itamar ben -Vir or Netanyahu? They haven't even been in power for a week yet and already controversy. Yeah, I think that uh, this was just um, a move to test the water in uh, the most uh, fragile uh, point uh, of friction in the Middle East. And um, it seems that Netanyahu believes that uh, the ministers that he appointed are just screws and he's got the uh, screwdriver and he can play with them. But the problem is that, and this was demonstrated by Bengvir, is that uh, there are a bunch, bunch of loose cannons or loose screws in this cabinet, and they have their own agenda. Now, uh, Netanyahu's claim to fame is that he is a magician that can simultaneously uh, keep in the air, throw, and uh, pick up uh, all three balls of uh, security, uh, international relationship, uh, first and foremost, with the United States, and uh, keep away from trouble with, with the Palestinians. And even he took credit for the Abraham Accords, as uh, your reporter just uh, mentioned. And uh, this will be, and the fact that uh, Jordan invited the Israeli ambassador to reprehend him, I think that this is a clear message to Netanyahu, um, and uh, he will have to decide sooner than later um, which ball is more important mm -hmm. uh, to keep together the coalition and uh, to expand territories, and the cost will be Israeli relationship with the Arab world as well as with the United States, keeping in mind that Israel will have to answer some questions to the International Court of Justice. Can Israel really afford for that to happen, though? I mean, the, the U.S. is Israel's uh, biggest ally. They've already expressed uh, their concern about what happened on Tuesday, saying that um, holy sites in Jerusalem, the status quo must remain uh, the same. So Netanyahu, I, I would think, would have to find a way to almost rein in Ben Vir, because what else can we expect from uh, this controversial figure? Well, as long as it seems that uh, the United States is uh, paying lip service to the status quo, to uh, its special relationship, of course, at the same time with Israel, and uh, they refrain to take actions uh, against Israel, both uh, diplomatic or economic, uh, Israel has been kind of immune against rhetorics from the international community. And as long as uh, the Israeli uh, constituency, especially the Likud's constituency, uh, doesn't have to pay anything for it, they can travel everywhere. They are welcome in the United States. The uh, uh, military coordination, not only with the United States, keeps is, is working properly, also with the Palestinian Authority. So, you know, most of the Israelis, I don't remember when was the last time I visited Haram al Sharif or the Temple Mount. And I think that 95% of the Israelis keep away not only from Haram al-Sharif, but from the old city of Jerusalem. So uh, what really bothers the Israeli is the cost of living, the cost of uh, now uh, everything, uh, including uh, oil, uh, is, is, is cost more and more. And uh, what happens, as long as uh, there is no violence in the street, and they can, and the, many people still uh, remember the time that they were afraid to uh, take a bus. And now, it's, as long as it's quiet, it's under control, nothing is going to happen. Akiva Elda, appreciate your insight and analysis. Speaking to us there from Tel Aviv, thank you. Thank you.